I showed you two others where you lock it in. Now that's the magic of this vinyl cement. You don't need to lock it in with wire or thread to get the fly to last. Go back up and do it the way Norm does again. Just try it. I don't tie many nymphs. Let's go ahead and try that one. Oh, they're going to smell that vinyl cement. No, it'll be dissipated. Long time before that. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm trying to leave this as buggy and as thick as I can, just touching it. And almost Palmer in it. If you don't know about Palmer in it, means at an angle. Get yourself a good fly tying beginner book and it, it will tell you. Now as you can see, that's getting worked in as it goes. For those of you who don't have the rotor advice, you just work around like that. Just like you put on hackle for a woolly booger, palmering. Could take that's because it originated in Palmer, Alaska, down the road here. But I've been here. Alrighty, you don't need no stinking dubbing brush. That's locked in. Locked in as good as dubbing brush you're gonna get. Right there. What more do you need? Not much. Alrighty. Now. Okay, what we have here is a little bit of my pearlescent hair. Or it's first pearlescent hair. Trying to get to the main source of it. It's overseas. Trying to work a deal there with trying to work a deal with two farms. One to get it for me overseas. And one to help distribute it. Along with my other products. And that's right gonna turn into a prostitute and let y'all get these in the stores green they don't see the color even if they do you can look at all these highly visible imitations they have now they still hit it Or you didn't have any tail and help hold it up in the back. Ain't gonna need it. Half your bugs that hit the water are half submerged, including your beetles. And I've cleaned fish when I had to do shore lunches guiding that had cigarette butts and sticks and moss filling their bellies. I was on White River in Arkansas. Not just one or two.
There you go. Nice and buggy. Have fun tying and fishing. There, yeah, that's for all y'all people that say I don't tie anything for anything besides salt water and those fly tying forums that are all run by stores. That I ain't allowed to talk in. But there's an easy way to do it. You can see you don't need no stinking dubbing brush. You can buy them. Go buy them. I was even thinking of making some, but why? Labor intensive. You got to take it overseas to do it. Honduras or wherever. Learn how to do it yourself. Look at that. All bugged out and all that. They're going to see that light reflecting all over the place. And they're going to come up, take a look at it. See that light reflecting? Take a look at it and have fun tying a fishing.